Do you live your life a quarter mile at a time? Do you also happen to love Lego? Well then dang, this set's for you. Let's dive on in and talk all about it. Welcome to Mike's Build Break, where here on this channel we appreciate the art of Lego and model building. Together, last week I released a brand new video. If you have not seen it, click the eye in the sky and go give it a watch, because we're going to talk all about this car today. From time to time you'll see videos of Lego or models building themselves, but when I run into a set that I feel deserves a little extra love and I want to dive a little deeper into it, I'll release a review video just like this one today. Let's dive into this build and talk about what makes this thing unique and show you all the cool features under the hood. Yeah, I made that joke. This is the LEGO Technic Dom's Dodge Charger based off the iconic 1970s Dodge Charger RT. That car is featured in the Fast and Furious film saga, which by the way, we could fight about this all night long, but I know I'm right. Tokyo Drift, not that bad of a movie. Bruh. If you disagree, leave a comment down below. Time for a build breakdown. This LEGO Technic comes in at 1,077 pieces. Its final measurement is at 15 inches long and 4 inches in height. The trunk, it does what trunks do, moves up and down and inside the trunk contains two nitro bottles. Inside the car you have two doors just as cars do, but they open and close as well as a steering wheel and there's a tank where the seat should be. Is that cheating or is it part of racing? You decide. The car has wishbone suspension. A steering knob in the back actually controls the car when you're pushing it forward. In the first Fast and Furious movie when Dom's racing Brian and then Dom hits the gas pedal which then throws his car upwards, this car has its own bar. So that way you can kind of keep the car in that same position as it's kind of in the sky on takeoff, showing off the underneath and top. One of the most outstanding features on this car is the engine. As you're pushing the car, you can see the pistons visibly move up and down, which is so neat. The chain in the front is circulating. This is such a cool detail. When you go under the car, you can see how everything's working and how everything's connected. The current price as this video recording is $99.99. I do have an affiliate link down below linking straight to this car if you want to check it out. Now that we've spoken about all the details of the build, the most notable features, let's talk about just the overall thoughts. I had a great time building this set the three times that I did. There are a few parts of the car that can be a bit flimsy if it's held incorrectly or if you bump into it. Sort of like the window framing can pop off if you're holding it wrong or the bumper can come off if it's bumped into anything or tapped into anything. Or even the back panels towards the end of the car can kind of move around a bit. Other than those little tiny details that really aren't even big deals, it's really packed with tons of features, tons of cool little things that really make it stand out. I feel like they did a great job at representing Dom's car from the Fast Saga with this build. I selfishly want them to work on Brian's 94 Supra. That way I can pair it with Dom's car and kind of represent that scene from when they're drag racing at the end. I give this build 4.5 bricks out of 5. It's a long build so strap in, maybe put on a movie or two. I might know a couple you could watch while you're building it. No hints or anything. If you guys liked what you saw here today on MBB and you really want to support my LEGO addiction, click that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about today's video. See you guys next week, and remember, always be building. Mm. 70s iconic Dodge Charger. Dodge Charger. Now, let's break this thing down and talk about what really makes. What? What? What?